Now, while a summer holiday may bring temporary relief in the battle against stress, office workers in Bristol have discovered a more permanent way of easing tensions, as we discover now with Dr Gillian Rice in this week's checkup. We're all aware by now of the stresses and strains that changes in our working lives have created. Job insecurity, long hours and little time for relaxation. It all adds up to bad news for mind and body. But staff at one Bristol office have found a new weapon in the fight against stress. It's long been known that massage can ease muscular tension, increase blood flow and generally make you feel better. But there aren't many who can afford the time to make regular appointments. This is where Chris Briggs can help. He's a qualified massage therapist, quite willing to lend a hand at the office. Uh, we're dealing with people with basically every type of stress you can think of, uh, and they're showed in different ways, all the way through from tension into the neck and in the hands, all the way through to uh, repetitive strain injury and irritable bowel syndrome, are the, the most extreme examples. And what we can do is give people a bit of nice energy, and they leave us with enthusiasm and lots of go, and they're able to tackle those difficult jobs that they've been putting off all day. Very soon, Chris has worked his way around all the staff. It means they don't individually have to spend long away from their desk, but what benefits are they seeing? Oh, it's excellent. It gives you um, bank, basic bags of energy. Have a nice massage, it sort of sorts you out a bit. So, so, yeah, it's good for the rest of the day then. And I think the idea of having someone come in and just sort of, you know, loosen everything up, it does, it makes you more alert, it makes you more effective. Chris's office service continues to grow, but he has some tips in self-massage that he's willing to pass on too. If you um, put your head on uh, your hand there and just work around the top of your neck with small finger pressure, this will relieve tension headaches and actually stop stress building up into your neck. You can also work along the top of your shoulders and down the shoulder, inside of the shoulder blade and that will also relieve tension and stiffness that builds up in your shoulders and help release tension in your arms. Also, if you hold pressure on the middle of your palm and just relax for about 10 seconds, you'll find that uh, tension will actually start to seep out of you. Well, Gillian, massage obviously brings big benefits for relaxation, but what are the medical benefits that it brings? Well, there's not a lot of hard scientific evidence on the benefits of massage, but that's partly because it's very difficult to subject massage to the same kind of scientific analysis and medical trials that you would subject, say, a new drug to. But despite that, I think the fact that a number of hospitals and GP surgeries and hospices around the country are now offering massage as a form of therapy to their patients shows that at least some doctors are now convinced of both the psychological and the physical benefits that massage can bring. And briefly, are there any dangers involved? I mean, for instance, how difficult is it to find a qualified practitioner? It is important that you fo find both a qualified and a reputable massage therapist if you're going for this sort of treatment. And I think one of the best ways of doing that would be to contact the British Massage Therapy Council. They can give you a list of qualified practitioners on their register in your area. And their number is 01772 881063. Gillian, thanks for joining us.